When should a child advance to a booster seat? A. Has the maturity to sit correctly in a booster seat? B. When the child reaches a minimum of 40 pounds? Or C. All of the above? The answer is all of the above. A booster seat is appropriate for a child who is at least 40 pounds or 18 kilograms and has the maturity to sit correctly in a booster seat. Maturity means sitting properly, staying buckled with the belt in the proper location, and staying awake on most car rides. Hi everybody, it's Nicole here with our Children Our Future LaCloche Early On Child and Family Center and today I am showing you how to buckle in a child in a booster seat. So this is a high back booster. This is a two in one, so it acted as a forward facing with a harness, but uh, as per the manual, we took the harness out to make it a high back booster. So this is my helper today. This is my son, Seth, and this is his car seat in my vehicle. So the first thing we want to know is always check your manual, always check your vehicle manual to make sure that you know exactly how to install the seat. Most booster seats do not need to be attached to the, the seat itself. Um, however, please check the manual to ensure this. Hazel, please stay over there. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take your seat belt, and a lot of seats have a belt path route through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the belt path through, making sure that there's no twists. Then we're simply gonna put it on like a regular seat belt. So Seth, can I get you to buckle that in please? Again, ensure there's no twists along the bottom. Oh, you going, mommy? And once he's buckled up, we're just going to make sure that it's snug and it fits across his legs and then not across his belly. The upper strap, again, should route across his collarbone. So we'll sit next, please. Look straight ahead. So it shouldn't be rubbing on his neck and it shouldn't be falling off his shoulder. It should come right along the shoulder and along the collarbone. Again, it is not locked because in the event of a crash, you want this to be able to move, okay? So again, we're making sure there's no twists and everything fits properly and you're good to go. I also wanted to show you quickly the use of a non-high back booster. So when you're using just a seat booster, a bum booster, you need to make sure that your vehicle has a headrest already um, and that it reaches at least to the top of their ears. So with this one, we're going to do the same thing and just buckle it across. Often So as you can see here, sit nice please. As you can see here, the belt is not rubbing on Seth's neck. It is still not falling off his shoulder and it is crossed. So this seat would be um, appropriate for him as well. Now, if you did find that you're using a bum booster and the seat belt is too close to the neck or falling off the shoulder, you might need to look at a different style of booster seat, um, such as a high back booster. Excellent, thank you, Seth. The first thing to do is always read and follow the directions for your car seat. If you no longer have the manual, contact the manufacturer for a copy. Check the car seat, seat belt, and airbag sections of your vehicle manual as well. Is my seat safe to use? Look for the national safety mark. It's a circle with a maple leaf on your seat, which means it is approved for use in Canada. A seat involved in a crash may no longer be safe to use. Contact the manufacturer for further instructions. If you bought your seat secondhand and do not know the history of your seat, it may not be safe to use. Always check the expiration date of your seat. Contact the manufacturer if you're unsure. Fill out the registration card that comes with your seat or check Transport Canada's website to find out if your seat has had any recalls. Other things you might want to know. When it comes to cleaning, check your car seat manual for washing instructions. Do not soak the harness. In the winter, use thin, warm layers like fleece and cover with blankets after buckling. Bulky clothing can affect your child's safety. Secure any loose objects that can move around in a crash. All passengers and pets should be buckled or secured. And contact the manufacturer with questions or for support.